Night clashes between migrants and residents have stopped after hundreds of policemen and national guards were deployed to protect the population and migrant communities. Yet the security situation is still alarming in Sfax as some Tunisian youths are attempting to block the road to migrants. We're calling for the immediate relocation of all sub-Saharan African migrants. They're hurting the population and invading our neighborhoods. This is a warning to all illegal migrants. You must leave the city today. We didn't start the violent clashes. The migrants killed one of us. They are behind the rise in insecurity and criminality. We are defending ourselves. We do not hate the illegal migrants. We just want to live in peace. According to the Interior Department and local authorities, the humanitarian situation has improved in Sfax. Eyewitnesses, however, claim that many migrants, including women, are victims of violence. We all know that there is a conspiracy which aims to increase violence between Tunisians and migrants. We are being killed. Our sisters are raped and killed. I saw with my own eyes the killing of a migrant. Authorities have denied the death of undocumented migrants in the city of Sfax. Migrant groups have called for a peaceful settlement of the current crisis and freedom of movement within the country. Aren't there Tunisians in Côte d'Ivoire, Burkina Faso, Mali or Senegal? Have you ever heard of violence against a Tunisian national? We always welcome them in our countries. All Africans are welcome. We just want the same human treatment here. Tunisian authorities have announced that a group of 450 sub-Saharan migrants stranded at the borders with Libya have all been relocated to secure facilities enabling them to receive necessary medical and psychological assistance. Sfax, Tunisia's economic capital, is still crowded with thousands of migrants from sub-Saharan Africa aiming to reach Europe on makeshift boats. Tunisia is facing an unprecedented migration crisis as more undocumented migrants are arriving from neighboring countries. Abdel Shawishi, CGTN, Tunis.